Hello, friends. It's Sunday fun day. I don't know. I came up with that. Uh, I mean, I've heard it before, but today what we're going to do is we're going to play in the junk journal. Uh, I'm not going to teach you anything. I mean, not like on purpose. I may show you what not to do some more uh, because this is a how not to do the crafts channel. Uh, but we have fun, so it doesn't matter. And I found these magazine images that I cut out, so I want to use these in my in my junk journal. I've got all the stuff from the Happy Mail video from yesterday that Barb sent me. Oh my gosh, so excited to use some of that stuff too in my little junk journal here. But before we get to that... I decided to go to the thrift store. Now, I haven't been to the thrift store in about three months um, because every time I go, I come back with an armload of books. And if you saw my house, you would be like, stop buying books. But here's the thing. I went to the thrift store specifically with the end goal being buy books, I am okay cutting up. So... I found some pretty great books and I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to tell you what idea I had um, and what works for me. And maybe it'll work for you. Maybe it won't. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I also swung by Joann's because I needed some more matte gel medium and I had a 50% off coupon and they had all of their paper crafting stuff 30% off, which means all of the Tim Holtz stuff was 30% off. So I got a little Tim Holtzy. Timmy and I got a little haul. So let's do the thrift store stuff. Then we'll do the Joanne stuff. And then we're going to use all of that stuff in this guy with this stuff. And it's all going to be stuff. Here's the thrift store things. All right. Uh, I know this is compelling television with a paper sack. So I will pull the paper sack out. Whoa. So I need you all to know, everything that I'm about to show you cost me just a little over $16. All right, so I don't even know half of what I got. I just bought things because I like the colors and it looked kind of cool. Uh, well, first off, I found some Stampin' Up! gold embossing powder uh, for $2, which might be a lot. I don't know. I mean, isn't embossing powder... I. So in my brain, I've got like $19.99 prices. And so I'm like, isn't this stuff like $2.99? No, I think it's like $8.99 now. But anyway, so let's go through these little bits. So I've got little bits of trim here. Ooh, this is really, well, never mind. I'm not getting into that. But I got this, there's like this twill trim here. And I thought this might be good for, uh, book binding like if I if I needed to to put a little strip on a signature and then I there's this little ribbon whoop and this is just some gross grain ribbon it looks like um and then there is this little eyelet trim which looks like it may be handmade it's great. It's got like the late 70s, early 80s color, which is my childhood. I found these buttons. They're bright colors. I was like, $2? That's a little much for buttons, but I just love the colors. And so I was like, well, I'm going to get them. Uh, and then I found this, which I know is upholstery trim, but I have an idea in my head to take things like this and spray them with Distress Ink. I don't know. We're going to try it. Uh, and then I got this because these are the most fabulous 70s colors I've ever seen in my life. And I have no idea what it is. So we're going to find out what it is together. They had a few of these, actually. A few packages like this. Oh, it is such scratchy acrylic. Holy macaroni! <sighs> okay, Birdie, if you're watching, I feel like you need this for your junk journal because it matches your inside cover. I know your inside cover has a bright blue, but it also has these colors, I feel like. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. Like, one, two, three. There's a, this is at least two yards. 
I think. Wow, this is great. Oh, that's excellent. It's so, it's so like scratchy and acrylic-y in 1975. I can't stand it. I'm excited. All right, that's awesome. Uh, I also found, so my mother always told me that the best cookbooks were the ones from, you know, the little church ladies. And I found this cookbook from Kingston, Tennessee. It's from the, a collection of recipes from members and former members of Bethel Presbyterian Church from Kingston, Tennessee. So that means, oh, congealed shrimp salad. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, I don't know, 1993, so. I imagine hot curried fruit, broccoli casserole, wacky chocolate cake. Ooh, this is a friend served this in Milledgeville, Georgia. Well, I know where Milledgeville is. This is amazing. So, um, and then this cookbook is from Jacksonville, Florida. And what's funny is people out here on the West Coast think Florida is like Miami. And I'm like, no, no, no. Miami is Miami and Florida is a little country. Um, I know now it's like all suburbs and all that, but uh, Jacksonville is not Miami. Let's just say that. So I got this because I was like, well, this is probably great. Just the recipes are probably great. Um, it doesn't have, oh yes, no, yes, 1988. Oh, it's great. So anyway, I got this because I bet it has some recipes in it from my childhood. Uh, and then I can also, because of what Barb sent me, she gave me the idea of pulling these pages out so I can also use the pages. So very excited about that. Uh, and then I found this, which was only 25 cents. It's, it's your first 32 page chapter, the complete family sewing book from 1972. Uh, Somebody kept it, but clearly did not get the book. But look at all of these fabulous illustrations. I am very excited. Look at those. I think I, I think I opened it to like this and was like, go on with me. These are great. Oh, I'm gonna do so many wonderful things with this. And then I can use the envelope to collage with. So very excited about that. Uh, and then I found this pattern, Payless Super Drugs, Oregon City Shopping Center. Funny. Uh, this is from 1976, which is the year my husband was born. Fun fact. And uh, I just like the, the color of the paper from the 70s and earlier. I mean, it's still the same color-ish, but it's not the same. Uh, and then also I thought I would just take on French horn. I'm not kidding. I just got some extra. I didn't really need it, but I like it because this is small. The The notes are smaller. The page, the pages are yellowing. These numbers are pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Um, so that's why I got it. I just like that the notes are smaller because I have a couple of other music books and the bars and the the notes are huge so cool uh and then i found this 101 sweater and craft ideas from woman's day and i was like do i really want this it's from february of 1988 uh i would have been 10 and i was like do i really want this and i'm like flipping through it and i'm like oh well these pages would be neat because they're like a thick newsprint I was like, well, these would be really great, you know, fodder for the backgrounds, um, master boards, whatever, right? But then I started flipping through the magazine part and I found these wonderful ladies. And I was like, well, these ladies, I believe, will need to be paper dolls. So I have some, oh, there's a, there's a note here. Can't use her because somebody wrote Joni. But I, oh, so great.
Like I can totally use these 80s outfits. I'm very excited. And the 80s hair, like, come on. I am so excited about all of this. Great. I was gonna make a joke. I was gonna I was gonna make a joke and say, well, that's not a nice name to call that man. But I'll just let y'all look at this page. So anyway, on to the next thing. I found the wheat cookery, the magic of wheat cookery. This is also from the 80s. And I picked this up because one, it's got really great 80s color photos, but they're not shiny. So that's awesome. Two, I really dig the, if I get there, all of these illustrations. So I thought, well, this is a really cool cookbook. It's got very, I mean, look, look how 80s that is. Was, was our life really sepia-ish? I don't even know what color that is. Sunflower yellow? I think it was. So yeah, it's got these great illustrations and photos. I don't know if that looks good. Photos, and I was like, well, this is great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. So I took it. Well, I didn't take it. I paid for it. But uh, And then I found a Sierra magazine, which is current. It's summer 2023, and it talks about wild horses. So I was actually going to read this. Um, but also it's just for magazine collage because, you know, you can always find something. Horsies! Oh, I love that photo. All right. Here is, these are the books I got. I only got two because I just could not, I was like, I can't cut these up. So here's how much I spent. $16.50 for all of this. So remember, I got all of these trims. I got embossing powder. I got magazines, cookbooks. And then I got, these two books were half off. Now this is a textbook. Um, and it's just like a, you know, a social study book or a world history book, maybe. I think it's probably social studies. Uh, and I was like, you know what I'll cut up? I'll cut up a textbook for sure. I have no qualms whatsoever cutting up textbooks. And look, you get all sorts of things in a textbook. So here's some illustrations. Here's photos, modern photos, maps, more artworks, there's this statuary, like I could totally fussy cut out this whole thing if I wanted. Maps. And I don't mind, I don't mind cutting this up at all. And then I even thought, I was like, well, hang on a minute. If I cut, if I cut this up, I could make this a very large junk journal. Or I could even cut it down to have two small junk journals. So I think that that's what I'm going to do with it. Oh, look at this old colorized photo. Yeah, so like this, I don't, absolutely do not mind cutting up a textbook. So there's your hint for the day, buy textbooks. If you have a hard time cutting up books, buy a textbook because they're all outdated. They've all just got copies of other, like nothing in there is original. Uh, and then I found this Techniques of Interior Design Rendering and Presentation. Uh, it's from 1978. So that's awesome. Uh, and I don't know that I can cut this one up. It was only a dollar. Uh, I'm not entirely certain that I can cut it up, but I have a book similar to this and I wanted to add this one to my collection. So I failed and bought a book that I'm not gonna cut up. So there you go. But I think this is a brilliant idea to cut up textbooks. So there you go. Look for textbooks. You can find art textbooks, you can find math textbooks, you can cut them up because there's nothing original in there that really needs to be saved. Okay, now I'm going to go get the Joann stuff. Okay, so I got a little crazy at the Joann's. Uh, so first off, they had these on clearance, which they're a little too, well, they're a little scrappy for me, but I can use them because I can grunge them up and... 
I actually kind of liked these copper letters. Um, they were two forty seven, so that's awesome. Um, and then all of this Tim Holtz stuff was thirty percent off, and so I got some of his collage paper because you can jelly plate print on it. I got on clearance these glitterific paints, I guess. Um, but I just loved this one. I was like, oh my gosh, this, I have so many magazine collage that I could use just this one on. And then I was like, well, for a buck 47, I'll get the others too. So I got those and then I'm going to tell on myself. So I placed a Timu order. I know I said this in a previous video, but I have placed a Timu order. I've actually placed two because they gave me another coupon. Then I was like, well, that's a pretty good coupon too. Uh, but I got a bunch of stuff to make dingle dangles uh, for junk journals. And so the one thing I didn't get from Timu was spacer beads. And they had all of their spacer beads were on sale for, for $10. So I got, well, I got three spacer beads and then I got these things because they're, these are really cool. Like these little the little balls on them go up and down and they spin. Um, and I just really like this like Celtic knot type design. So um, I got these, they were just on sale. I got some snapshots from Tim Holtz uh, because I've watched a lot of people use these in really interesting collages. Um, and I've got a couple of snapshots, but they're all like Christmas or Halloween. So I just got some generic ones. Uh, I got this, uh, organic layers. Uh, da, 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 da. I got the botanical layers, which I think I have, I have similar things, but I don't think I have these specifically. Uh, and then I got keepsakes, which is just like tickets and tags and stuff like that, uh, which I don't have either. And then the piece de resistance. I got this. For 30% off, which I was very excited about. Ta-da! I almost didn't get it, but then I was like, man, for 30% off, why not? Um, and it comes with some little staples, and I probably won't use it that often, but I, I was working on something the other day, and I was like, I wish I had Tim Holtz's tiny attacher. Um, so I went ahead and got it. I don't think that they've had it in stock very often. Also, look, they use the tiny attacher to attach this. So that's the haul. That's what I got. Uh, so we're going to take some of this stuff and some of the stuff that Barbara sent and we're going to work in this little journal and we're going to do all that as soon as I put all this stuff away. So I will be right back. So I had a little lunch. Uh, I stopped at the farm store on the way home from Joanne's and the, where'd I go? Thrift store. I almost said farmer's market, but that was where I stopped. Anyway, uh, I went to the thrift store, I went to Joann's, and then I stopped at this little farm stand on my way home, and I got a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables. I'll put a little picture up right here. And uh, I just had lunch, which was a sandwich with fresh lettuce and tomato, and oh my gosh, it was amazing. Uh, so what I have done is I've got these little boxes of stickers and uh, the Tim Holtz ephemera bits and photos that we just, that I just bought. Um, and I've got a little stack here of the things that Barbara sent me from the Happy Mail. I've got my journal and I think I am, sorry, I've got a little dog. I don't know what she's doing. Okay. She was looking for the perfect spot to curl up and be a Smalls Rito. Her name is Smalls. She's very little. Uh, if I have a picture, I'll put her up. I'll put a picture up of her. I mean, I know I have a picture. It's just a matter of finding them. Uh, so anyway, uh, there's no rhyme or reason for what I'm about to do. I'm just going to work in this journal. Uh, however, the mood strikes me. Um, I use some distress ink on the background of this page. I used double-sided tape to glue this pocket tag thing in. I was thinking about doing that. I feel like this makes it look too fallish. 
and it's kind of summery. I don't know. I like the butterfly, but I'm not sure I like the butterfly. So if I'm not sure, I'm not going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to start, I think maybe I'm just going to start back here. I'm just going to open up to a page and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do some stuff and junk and things and see what happens. Um, I wonder if I should do a little painting. This is one of those videos where I'm going to get someone who comments and tells me that I don't know what I'm doing. Indeed. Correct. A plus, Dr. Obvious. Uh, nobody knows what we're doing. FYI. Uh, and, um, it doesn't matter. So, I don't care. So, here's the thing. I know that I may not have needed that water. I know that the liquid on these pages is totally going to buckle and it's all going to be blah, blah, blah. Hooty snooty. Um, I don't care. This is a junk journal where I just want to play in it. Um, I'm not, I'm not out here to win awards. I'm just out here to play. So if you're looking for the award-winning YouTube videos, it's not here. Um, I may pause. Well, no, this is drying really fast. It's like a billion degrees here today. Uh, and our humidity in the summer is about 25%. So that's a humid day here. Yes, I'm not lying. So this is almost dry. It's dry enough to where I don't mind mixing a little bit of purple into it. So the reason I'm drying, I dry paint. Here's what I've discovered. The reason to dry paint is that if you mix a warm and a cool color together, you will get mud. I think most people know that. Um, the reason you dry paint is because if you're about to mix a warm and a cool color together, you want it dry so that it won't turn to mud. Um, so that is your tip of the day. Tip of the day. That's your how fast tip of the day. Um, I'm just now realizing I've just stuck my whole hand in there and there's going to be fingerprints on it. Whatever. Who cares? So I have a list of things that I want to talk about. Um, because every time I sit down to do this, I always forget that I wanted to talk about something. And then I go and I'm editing it and I'm like, I want to, but I, ugh, I wanted to talk about this thing that happened and I totally forgot and it can get very frustrating. Oh, you know what? I don't have pink, but I do have pink ladies. Oh my gosh. This is great. Oh, I kind of like these ladies. And if I cut these ladies out, I won't cut on those ladies. So let's cut those ladies out. Ooh, ooh, look, I'm going to use my new Timmy Holtz. I wonder if he hates being called Timmy. Probably. 1972. Oh, I like these ladies. All right. So I do have the little Tim Holtz snips, but I really do like these Cutter B snips. FYI. If you are wondering, I wonder which scissors to get. I mean, get the scissors that speak to you, but I got the Tim Holtz snips and I've got these Cutter Bees and I much prefer the Cutter Bees. The Tim Holtz, not that this is a review video, but the Tim Holtz are a little, 
how do I put this? They're, they're actually a little flimsy, the small ones. Now these big ones feel pretty stout. Um, but these little guys here, a lot of times what will happen is, see it's got these, like these are supposed to hit each other like this and sometimes they do that. And I don't know, I just feel like it just feels a little, what's that word that people use? Like flimsy, but chintzy? Is that the word some people use? I don't know. Anyway, so Ruby came back last night and we went on a um, trail ride. So my trainer brought her back. And then he and his wife and his daughter came with their horses. Well, he didn't have his horse because he rode Leon. And we all went out. So he and his wife and his daughter showed up with two horses and my horse. And then he rode Leon and we went out into the forest and he actually took a picture of all of us, so I will, uh, I'll show you that picture. I'm on the white horse in the front. Um, you can barely see me, but there I am. And he's riding Leon, so the horse that is right there is Leon. And Leon did great. It was his first time being out on the trail by him, or not by himself, but being ridden on the trail. He's been out... We've walked him out there, you know, like you walk a dog. And we've ponied him, meaning he walks alongside a horse that is being ridden. And so he's been out on the trail and out in the forest, and he knows what it is. He knows about it. I think I might leave that little spot there for her. Um, but he did so well. And remember, this is from my thrift store haul that I just showed you. So already using the thrift store bits because I think that that's exactly what this junk journal is for. It is no theme. Do what you want. And so anyway, so we took them out. The horses were all great. Even Ruby was good, even though she was like, why is this horse still here? She was very happy to be home. You could tell. She was like, wait, I'm, I'm here. And I was like, yes, you are back. Uh, but then, so after everybody left, it's, you know, the sun is set. Everybody's gone home. Ruby's still, you know, she's in her pasture. Leon's in his pasture because now they can't be together. And they're kind of like getting a little snippy with each other over the fence. Like she doesn't really like that he exists. And, uh, but I get everybody fed. And so I'm like, well, you're all eating. So you should all be quiet for the night. And horses are pretty quiet overnight because they don't want to cause, you know, call attention to themselves because they're prey animals. So, if a horse is being loud overnight, something's going on. So I finally get into bed and it's like 930. And I'm in bed and I hear the strangest sound. I'm like, was that a car? Was that a, what was that? It was just the weirdest sound. And the so little voice in my head says, I think that might've been your horse's. And so I open up the back door and I look out and then I hear the sound again immediately. And it's Ruby. And she sounds like the cross between a pterodactyl dragon piglet. And she is being very snotty because Leon is at the fence near her pasture which is ridiculous because he's in his own side. He's just on the other side of the fence. And it was so loud and she just kept doing it over and over and over. And it's echoing through the whole neighborhood and it's 930 at night. Um, and I kind of actually kind of like these ladies at a little angle. Hmm. 
All right, well, maybe, maybe we'll keep them at a little angle. Let me put up these. these. Ooh, those are serious scissors. So anyway, so I had to go out there and I had to like break them up. And I was like, y'all have got to calm down. You can't be acting like this. And I gave Ruby some extra hay and a hay bag. So maybe she would just eat and ignore him. Um, and she did pretty well until this morning. And then she was back at it hollering at him and I wish that I could have gotten some video I did try um because if you ever want to know what animal uh oh wait if you ever want to know what animal dragons were modeled after I can guarantee you 100% it is a horse because that's kind of what they sounded like they kind of sounded like dragons well, she did. Leon was just being very quiet and eating grass. And she was very mad because he had grass to eat on his side. Because his side has not been destroyed. So it's still a bit natural. The girl likes her snacks. Who can blame her? Oh, I kind of like that. Okay. All right. Hang on. I'm liking that. But I'm just like, maybe I want to put something behind it. No. Nope, none of, well, what if I did, I mean, that's random, huh? That's collage -y for sure. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to wait on that. So, yeah, horses, man, horses are so ridiculous. Uh... Let's see. So I was watching uh, Birdie, the Recycled Hippie Chick, last night. Um, I have linked her here before because she and I did the zigzag tickets. Uh, tags, not tickets. I don't know why I say tickets every time I'm thinking tags. I'm just going to blame perimenopause. Uh, but we both did these things like around the same time. We both watched a video around the same time and then she did her version and then I did my version and um, anyway, so last night I was watching one of her videos because I couldn't sleep and, uh, cause I was too riled up from all the excitement of going on a trail ride with all the horses. And she, she mentioned me and, uh, she was talking about, um, being fast, like doing things fast. And she was trying my background technique, which... I realized something as she's trying it because it, hers failed. Uh, when she went to go rub the baby wipe, she took up the, um, the paint with it. And I was super surprised. I was like, Oh, why did that paint come up? And, uh, and she explained, she was like, Oh, you know, I put down this. Whoa. Is it supposed to be this side? Holy smokes. I think it is. Um, oh, but I think I actually kind of like the other side better with, the ladies. No, I think it's supposed to be this side. She, um, squirrel. So she said, well, you know, I put down this matte gel medium to glue down my collage. And so of course, even drying her acrylic paint, it didn't stick. When she used the baby wipe, it brought up all of the paint and then it hit me. I was like, oh my gosh, I actually did something that I didn't mention in that video, I don't think. I'm fairly certain I didn't because I didn't even realize that it would be important, I guess. So the important thing that I didn't mention in that video is I gessoed those pages. So there was collage and then there was a thin layer of white gesso and then I laid down all of my paint and I used regular Liquitex acrylics so distress paint will come up with water so if you use distress paint on all of it it probably would all come up um I'm not sure that I would trust distress paint for that technique I could be wrong someone else can try it I mean I'll probably try it one day forgetting that I've said all of the stuff I just now said but it was fascinating because then I realized I was like, oh, that gesso is what made it work. 
and I didn't even know that. But then watching Birdie, she taught me why mine worked. And I couldn't have, I wouldn't have even known that to tell you or anybody. So Birdie, I'm sorry that I didn't know that, but you and I learned something together. Well, you probably already knew it because you're a very smart lady. Uh, and especially when it comes to the crafty stuff and the and the farmsteading. Uh, and I'm over here just trying to learn it all. It feels like, I feel very, maybe that's what's keeping me young. I just keep trying all this new stuff and I'm like, I feel like a child. Uh, so yeah, so the gesso was the thing that made the, that made that background work. So if you try that technique, you need to gesso first over your collage so that your acrylic paint has something to hold to. And then you put the other paint on top of the acrylic paint and then you can wipe that paint off. So if you think about it, acrylic paint is acrylic. And what is acrylic? Well, think about the acrylic sheets. They're pieces of plastic. So acrylic paint is plastic. So matte gel medium is made from an acrylic base. So if you put down the matte gel medium and then you put stuff on top of it, that's gonna wipe off. You put down the gesso and then you put down your two paint colors, let that dry completely. My gesso was dry as well, FYI. Let that dry completely. And then you put that third layer of paint on. While wet, you can wipe it off you know, through the stencil and that's how it works. So because Birdie tried something that I did and because she, her outcome was different from mine, it taught me more than me doing it myself and it working because I didn't, I don't know, I didn't really know why it worked. Um, but now I do know and I'm very excited about it. So now you know as well. Everybody knows. So I've got some Tim Holtz tape. I know y'all are about to be like, is this a Tim Holtz channel? What the heck lady? No, it's not. Like I even feel like sometimes I've kind of been like, don't buy the expensive Tim Holtz things. I mean, I bought an expensive Tim Holtz stapler today, but you know, whatever. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, I need a larger workspace because I need multiple levels so that I can set things around me so that I can just grab them. So this washi tape is pretty sticky, if I recall correctly, so I'm not gonna use glue on it, but you should totally use glue on your washi tape if you don't trust it. This is some Timu stuff that I got and I really like it and I feel like it has been very good. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Oh, you know, I cut these little things. I wonder. Oh, you know what? I can make this like a little tuck spot right there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's see. I have a list here. I do want to talk to Birdie about the gesso. Oh, and also Birdie mentioned to me and I'm gonna mention it to y'all about Shannon Green's five journaling five method. Journaling fives, fives journaling. Oh yeah, I can't remember it now, but I'm gonna link it below. Uh, she's got a whole playlist on it, which I watched a little bit of last night cause couldn't sleep hyped up from the very nice sunset horse ride. Uh, Whoa. Don't go there with that glue. All right, just here and here. Okay, can I get this glue off of here? We're, we're gonna try. I think I did it. All right, and then there. Cool. I don't know what I'm doing, but I do feel like that these lines here need some writing. Yeah, we're, well, hang on. We got a little tuck spot, don't we? So we can, we can tuck things into the, oh, isn't that adorable? 
Do I have any? Hmm. Well, let's see. I've got this like organza. Isn't that what they call this? No. What is this called? Where it's like crinkly. It's called something. Um, but I've got this stuff. So anyway, I'm going to link this uh, Shannon Green video for y'all and for myself because it is a way to, to go fast, right? That's what I was talking about. So Birdie watched my video where I mentioned uh, an artist who likes to go fast when she's working. And Birdie talked about how, ooh, look, I'm gonna use my little stapler. Oh my gosh, it totally just like works. I know, y'all are like, of course it works. What is wrong with you, lady? Um, so Birdie was talking about how she likes to just chatter so that she doesn't think about the art that she's doing. And I am like, I feel like I can't chatter and art. I don't think I have that brain. I think my brain is too left brained. Is it left or right brain that is the analytical one? I don't know. I'm not sure that I really subscribed to all that, to be honest, but... I do feel like that all of this Tim Holtz washi tape is way too vintagey for what I'm doing right there. I need Tim Holtz to come out with like some 70s vintagey stuff. Do you think if in another 10 years he'll just start using because right now he's got he's like up to like the 50s. Probably not. Whatever. Um, oh, you know. No, I don't think that, that doesn't go like I want it to. This ticket though, hang on, I could do this or not. I'm worried that I'm going to rip that. So what if I just put this ticket here? You can do it, little paper clip. There we go. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. Um, so Birdie was talking about how she goes fast, but because she she can chat and work, she doesn't really think about it as much. And I don't think I have that same brain. My brain is like, either I can talk about things or I can create things. And I think it's because I haven't exercised that brain my left brain I don't know I don't know which one it is but I haven't exercised that one enough I don't think so maybe I'll get there maybe one day I'll get there and it'll be cool I like this is a tuck spot too well let's just do that while I'm here while I'm here while I've got you I feel like my Fabri-Tac is getting very wet uh not wet Sticky, goopy, dry. See, I can't talk and do this at the same time. Well, I need more practice to talk and do this at the same time. Let's be clear. I can do it because humans can do that. It's proven. There are lots of YouTube channels that prove it. I just need to practice it. And that's okay. Okay, so Birdie, I told you about the gesso. I told you all about how Birdie told me about the five method, Shannon Green's. It's very interesting. It's something like you do five, there's five steps and you do all of the steps at once. So like, you know, one of her steps is um, like paint or ink. So you do it all, you paint or ink, you take 15 minutes, you paint or ink all the pages in your journal. Like it's, you know, it's a way to like really just wake yourself up and get going to create. And this stuff's gonna dry before I can even get it all down, um, which is really cool and I like it. I think it would be a fun little challenge to take on, so. Maybe that'll be August's challenge. I'm kidding. 
I'm kidding. Um, but I do think that I might try it. And maybe I'll video it. Maybe I'll... Because I bet I can do... Yeah, because I could do the 15 minutes. And then I could just go through it really fast. And maybe like do a voiceover or something. Oh, I didn't put... Because I'm all... I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. So that's good. Awesome. Great. Uh, what else is there? What else has happened? What else is happening? I really kind of just, I don't know. I keep putting that in there. Maybe I just need to leave it in there. Um... Ooh, there's this thing. No. That doesn't go that doesn't go in there like I'm wanting it to. But what if I put this in there? I feel like I should alter it in some way. Maybe. I really think that there should be writing. So I'm gonna leave that space open. Alright, this page is done. So I have these dogs that are whining at me now. Uh, because, I don't know, I think that they think it's dinner time. Maybe it is. What time is it? It's getting very close. Uh, oh, oh, this is a little tuck spot too, isn't it? Oh, this is, wait, this is a whole little separate thing. Barbara, you just spoiled me. Spoiled, I tell you. Well, I'm going to put this on this piece here because, oh, I see. I see what I'm having to do here. Oh, that's difficult. Okay, hang on. I got to use my brain. I'm definitely going to rip the page if I do that. What if I put it on this page? Yes, this page works way better. Oh, it's so adorable. I really like that idea. No, that is too tall. That is also too tall. But you know what? I think Birdie would say, I don't care. It can hang over. So I think I'm going to channel my inner Birdie. We're just going to do it. Because that's what I was watching last night. I did watch some videos this morning, but I couldn't get through a whole video before there was a horse squawking at another horse or a dog needing something or a husband calling me. And then I was like, well, I'm just going to go do some thrifting. And that was the end of that. I'm not sure why I'm using Fabri-Tac to put this down, but here we are. And this Fabri-Tac needs some attention. So I will clean this bottle up after whoa, this video. I know. Somebody out there is like, you should put that to the edge because it's bulky. Yeah, I don't care if I get a gator mouth. That's fine by me. There's a lot of things to worry about in this world. That is not one of them. Uh, I do want, I would like a little bit of ribbon or string here. And all I have next to me is this organza stuff. But that is not a bad idea. So let's just use it. Let's use it. And I could staple it again, or I could tie it. Staple or tie, staple or tie. I know, I know some of you ladies out there yell at me while I am crafting. <laughs> oh my God, I love this little stapler. 
perfectly stapled. In case you didn't notice, it's a little tiny staple. Man, is this even a little tuck spot? I think it might be, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it down because I would rip it. So, Barb, if I'm doing it wrong and that's not how you plan for me to use it, I'm sorry. Um, I don't, you probably won't care, will you? What am I, what am I saying? Barb's not gonna be like, send me all that stuff back. You used it wrong. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, that's right. I got these little envelopes. Oh man, I'm just like overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. All right. I think this video is going to be like an hour at this point. So I'm going to stop here. Um, maybe I'll write something in here about my friend Barb. And that's going to be it for today. Uh, I was going to add some little extra videos on the end here uh, of a walk that my husband and I took with our dog out in the forest. Um, and there's another video of something too. Oh, I got a video of Leon rolling after he played in the water. Um, but maybe I'll save those for my next video. All right, I'm gonna journal in here and I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. If you want, you don't have to. And by the way, I was told twice yesterday that I don't say my name on my channel. So I am Laura, the how fast crafter or half ass, but I like to say that, you know, I have a PG channel, um, which I guess half-ass is a PG word at this point. But anyway, my name is Laura. I know I don't say my name much. Uh, that's because I forget that this is like a whole channel and I think I'm just talking to you and that we already know each other. Uh, so anyway, that's who I am. Thank you for joining. It's been fun. We will do this again. Have a wonderful day.